is your beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's out. So, welcome to I Told You So with Blair. Mm -hmm. And Chelsea. Where we debate all the hot TV shows on television and hot topics. And I am so excited about today's episode because Blair has been brewing up a little conspiracy theory involving American Idol and Simon Cowell. And I'm just thrilled to give you the floor so that you can tell our fans at home oh, what exactly you think is going go. on. Here's my vast conspiracy theory <laughs> from the Sarah Palin Book of Truths. No, I'm kidding. So I think... That first of all, I think hands down, if you talk to everyone in the country, I think everyone's pretty much in agreement. This is by far the worst, most terrible season of American Idol in the history of American Idol. Mm -hmm. Ellen is not working it. I love you, Ellen. You're an amazing talk show host. You're a fabulous host in the Oscars and the Emmys, but you are not a good judge. And the four of them combined, I think, are terrible. Cara de Aguada is getting on my nerves this <laughs> season. She was real kind of nice and demure mm -hmm. last last year because she didn't want to quite maybe steal Paula's spotlight, but now that she's on her own, she is a diva, and I don't like her, she gets on my nerves. But the bottom line is, I think Simon and his little cohorts, his producer partners, I think personally that they actually purposefully made it a really bad season so he could just leave, get out of there and say, and leave the show on a bad note. So the next year when the show premieres without him, it's gonna even be worse, unless they hire Howard Stern. And then, Simon will then come up Big back heavy and glamorous on the X Factor, which will premiere in the fall of 2011, and he will blow that other show out of the water because every territory that X Factor has gone into mm -hmm. has overpassed the Idol franchise of that same territory. If you look at the UK, Pop Idol doesn't even exist anymore. Their only two shows is Britain's Greatest, Britain's Got Talent, and X Factor, both created by Simon Cowell, not Simon Fuller, who does Idol. Simon Fuller moved his entire staff from his UK offices where everything was based, moved them all to LA because they don't really have any more Idol franchises. Mm -hmm. So his biggest only thing to way to make money is off of American American Idol, which is, does make you know 300 million a year. So they're putting all their time and effort into trying to save this show, which I think was actually pulled under the plug with Simon's help. I think well, it's I think that that's actually a pretty hefty, uh, you know, assumption on your on your part. But you are like so you get to do that. Them, right? Don't you want to leave a franchise when it's on an upturn? As Not when you're to... taking a, your own franchise that's basically the same model. Hmm. That's right. why it's a little strange. I know that sounds weird. Why would Simon want to leave on a low note? But I. He's the only one that's powerful in that show, I'm telling you. And well, I do, I do think you're right. Like, Ellen, I love you, and I was hoping for so much more with Ellen, but she seems really out of place. Like, this it's is just, not it's her just out of place. It's just They're sticks not really out like letting a sore her thumb. be herself, it seems. Like, yeah. she just feels a little encroached upon, and I don't know, it's not working. And Cara DeGuardi, I agree with you. She's kind of getting a little loud and boisterous and mm -hmm. not really... And then really Randy hurt. has nothing to say, but good job to all well, well, I think the thing is, is that it's without like, Paula, it just, the chemistry's off. And I hated it, Paula. She got on my nerves, but you're right. But it worked better with mm -hmm. Paula. And Paula's uh, getting the last laugh right now, I think, as well. Well, she first got offered to be, take over Star Search for ABC, but mm -hmm. then she pulled out last minute. Now she's working with NBC and uh, the famous director who did all the high school musicals. And this is it for Michael Jackson. Please find, tell me his name. You don't know I it. don't know it. He's a famous choreographer, and they're supposed to be doing a joint dancing kind of show. Oh, well, that, oh I did. Yes, I did hear this. Tony actually, Ortega. Tony actually, Ortega. Ken awesome. Ortega. Ken I think that that's that's way that's a really smart move for her. But they they already have somebody think you can dance. What is she gonna do? I don't know. I and think they have America's Best Dance Crew. That's what she's loved for, and I think to give her that opportunity as opposed to just I being like the crazy stages. judge, she might as well just you know do do the thing that. Well, the bottom line is, is she's gonna do it. But the bottom line is that Paige Miles, thank the Lord America voted right this week, but she was Yikes. so bad, I can't even explain. And they've been touting her for weeks saying she's got one of the best voices. I don't know what they're drinking or sleeping, but they, they clearly have bad ears because I don't, even from day one, I never thought she was that good. Okay, she can belt a couple of notes, but the girl has the worst tone and is flatter than an anorexic <laughs> girl's chest. Whoa, okay? Blair. I mean, she's terrible. Yeah, you know, I, I would have liked to see the cameras behind the scenes to see what actually really happened with her because this amazing voice that she had, I'm not I seeing it. it. Yeah, all I'm right, not seeing so. It. I think it's all about Crystal Bauer socks. I think we can agree on that mm -hmm. one. She'll probably take it home. She deserves it. And I do like her, but she still doesn't like 
there's not that tune in viewer every week. We haven't, we haven't got it yet, but I think that, that we're going to find it. I don't, I don't think that there's a lack of talent in the season. However, the season is a bit Please. awkward, and people might start tuning out just for that fact. It's terrible. But, um, but who knows? There still could be an Adam Lambert in the mix. You don't know. There could. <laughs> well, that's our American Idol news for you today. So we're going to move on to Dancing with the Stars. Lots of changes on yes. the show as well. Yes. Samantha Harris no longer is uh, one of the co-hosts. Which is fine with me. She never did anything for Brooke me. Burke, who I yeah. absolutely love. I think Brooke's, Brooke's doing a good job. I wish Brooke had done the Oscar red carpet mm -hmm. set that a freaking oh what's her name that did the Oscar carpets for eight. Oh, I know and God. I don't remember her name. Either She's the, the the um used to be a swimsuit model yes. and oh you know who I'm talking about. She was Kathy Ireland was so bad that should have been Brooke Burke. Yes. I don't. I'm sorry. I the thing attention. about the thing about Brooke Burke on this particular season is she's a little too toned down for me. I feel like she mm. she's not matching the energy. She's on too much sand. Yeah, of Tom or, or any of the other judges for that matter. She's like a little too mellowed out. Yeah. Which maybe that's good for the dancers. Who knows? Maybe they need that kind of calm presence when they come back uh, to, what are they calling it? The aquarium? Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, I mean, oh, honestly, that show that never did do it for me. I'm a dancer. I love watching dancing, but that show just gets on my nerves. I, I, I kind of agree with you. I, it never really grabs me, and it definitely doesn't grab Until me in the, the first season. Yeah, just when it gets down and people are actually really good, I don't really care to see people like stumble all over their feet and step on themselves because I do that myself, and I don't like to watch it when I do it. So I don't really want to watch a bunch of celebrities doing it. Now tell me this drama with Nicole Scherer that's going on. Well, everybody's really, really upset about the fact that she was asked to do uh, this year's Dancing with the Stars because she's a dancer. She is a dancer. Now she says... This is an, unlike any dancing she's ever done. She obviously hasn't probably done the waltz or okay, the cha-cha-cha. Okay, you realize but every year they've had dancers. Look at all the boy banders. Yes. Joey Fatone. I agree. You know, uh, the guy from 98 Degrees Under, whatever. All those guys, Lance Bass, they were all trained dancers. Melissa Rycroft from The Bachelorette was not only a trained ballerina her whole life and a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, true. which is a very demanding dancing. If you watch the show on CMT, they kick their ass. So it's not like she's the first one. No, but I think that it's just the fact that she has so so much kind of going for her that people are... It's I think it's mostly the female fans that are kind of upset about this at this really? moment. Yeah, they just... They I think she's, she's hot, hot and I think she's amazing. Advantage. Yeah, but you're she right. Does, There's but... been dancers on other seasons, and I think it's kind of a moot point at this. I mean, it's just yeah. something that people are upset yeah. about for whatever reason at this point. you can point. say the same about ice skaters. They have dancers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And but I think Kevin or I mean sorry Evan Lysacek. Evan Lysacek kinda of proved that wrong because he was sort of stepping all over his feet. Yeah, he, he was a little bit of a mess. He was turning. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of I think everybody expected him to be the best, and mm. now that he's not, they're going to pick on Nicole. But I think after a couple of uh, shows, episodes... I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, uh, I, just, I just hope Buzz end. Aldrin doesn't die on the stage. <laughs> oh, God, what are they doing to these old people? Guy. It's not I know. Fair. It's not fair to put the, these older contestants on there and expect them to hold their own against yeah. Nicole Scherzer. Gonna... Or even a Pamela Anderson. Yes. Who is like, she's got a lot more life and movement in her. Yeah, a lot of a movement. Lot more, a lot more to work with yeah, than exactly. Portland Buzz. I thought he was precious. He was definitely one of my favorites. He was just so cute. Oh, oh God. So Enough with the oldies. I loved him. Well, before we talk your head off, that was the news for today. We mm -hmm. covered all the shows. And check back with us on BlairLake.com next week for more hot topics. And go to ABC.com to watch our actual show, Desperate Debates. Desperate Debates. Shot live on the uh, Desperate Housewives set, Ooh. which is so fun. All right. Well, this has been another episode of I Told You So, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.